What's up, Brand Builder? I'm Mash Ponigala, and welcome to another episode of the Brand Builder Show. In this episode, how to trademark a logo design. Many small business owners consider trademarking a matter uh, that is only for larger corporations. But registering a trademark to protect your intellectual property uh, and your brand asset can be beneficial to many companies, from multinational corporations to small town mom and pop operations. In this video, I will take you through the process of trademarking and why you should consider it for your own small business. The topics covered in this video, what is trademarking, what's in it for you, the trademarking process, how much does it cost, how long will it take, and of course, final words. So what is trademarking? A trademark basically is a name, word, logo, or other symbol that represents your company. Many companies spend a lot of money and, and time developing um, you know, an appropriate trademark or brand mark for their company. Now, this brand mark is identified with the particular company and is an integral part of the corporate brand. These companies therefore want to protect its integrity while also establishing the symbol as undeniably theirs. Companies can do this through a process known as trademarking. Many people don't think trademarking is necessary, especially for small regional businesses. It's true that a trademark automatically belongs to you once you begin using it. Uh, of course, provided uh, the trademark is not registered to someone else already, or it's being used by another company in your geographical area. But there are several distinct benefits to registering uh, the logo design, uh, symbols, and, and, and uh, you know, the brand name and all that uh, to, that you've chosen to represent your business. So you may be asking yourself the question, you know, what's in it for me? Why? Why should I trademark? There are many good reasons to register your trademark. First, it gives you priority over the trademark. If you don't register a trademark, you're only entitled to use it in your area and maybe your industry. If someone in a nearby area or in a similar but distinct industry decides to use a similar trademark or even the exact same one, you may not be able to stop them. This can affect your business, it can diminish your branding, and it can cause a lot of uncomfortable confusion or maybe even loss, monetary loss. So this brings us to another good reason to, to register a trademark, the right to sue when your trademark is inappropriately used, as well as the right to recover money from these trademark infringement lawsuits. In some cases, you can even bring criminal charges against people who have used your trademark unlawfully. Simply having a registered trademark can win the case for you because a trademark is um, government confirmation of your right to a symbol, a name, or a phrase, and can protect you from trademark infringement. In an increasingly um, global economy, there is another excellent reason for trademarking. Once you have completed the trademarking process through USPTO, if it's the US, uh, you can stop goods uh, bearing uh, you know, your trademark from being imported from a foreign country. While this may seem unlikely, many companies find themselves in the uncomfortable position of being confused with foreign companies using a similar trademark. If this company produces goods that are inferior to yours, uh, you have a compelling reason for stopping them coming into the market. Yes, this is a bit high level, but just think of it. I mean, this could apply to you. If you have a trademark registered in the United States, uh, you may also be able to register your trademark with other countries should you want to expand your sales to other nations. This is important because it gives you a foothold from which you can take your company to its highest possible level of success. If your trademark isn't registered in your home country, it may be almost impossible to get it registered in foreign countries. The trademarking process. The government agency that oversees trademarking in the United States is called the USPTO, United States Patent and Trademark Office. There is a process for registering your trademark. While this is a long process and sometimes a complicated one, it's the only way to reap the benefits of a registered 
trademark. The first step to registering a trademark is to make sure your trademark is subject to the trademark law. It should not be uh, generic or in common use. Uh, also, uh, you will need to make sure there is, that there is no similar symbol or brand name or phrase already trademarked. To do this, you can search the database at USPTO or your trademark attorney can do this for you. This can be a very time-consuming project, but it is important to make sure that you're not um, you know, taking someone else's trademark. While uh, USPTO does not require that you search for trademarks uh, similar to yours, it will save you um, time and, and spending valuable resources and money going after something that's already taken. This can be an expensive mistake. If you apply for a registered trademark, you will lose your application uh, fee as well as any uh, money that you spend on a trademark attorney. The next step is to file the trademark application itself. You can file an online application, but it's better to go with a trademark attorney. If you've already been using a trademark, you will uh, use the regular application. If you're still in the planning process, then there is another special application for you, the intent to use application. If you choose the second route, be aware that it is more complicated and can take slightly longer because you will have to file other paperwork once you actually uh, start using the trademark. And this could be after you apply for the trademark. After the USPTO determines that you have met the minimum filing requirements, the application is forwarded to an examining attorney. This may take a number of months. The examining attorney reviews the application to determine whether it complies with all applicable rules and statutes and includes all applicable required fees. Once your paperwork is complete and turned in, the USPTO will either deny your application or register for app opposition. Now, this is a tentative registration and gives other companies who may be using the trademark to protest your claim on it. If someone protests, you may be stopped from registering the trademark. Otherwise, your trademark will be officially listed on the primary register or supplemental register as belonging exclusively to you and your business. If the mark is published based upon the applicant's bona fide intention to use the mark in commerce, the USPTO will issue a notice of allowance about 12 weeks after the date the mark was published. If no party files either an opposition or requests to extend the time of opposition, the applicant then has six months from the date of the notice of allowance to either one, use the mark in commerce and submit a statement of use or request a six month extension of time to file a statement of use. How much does it cost? Generally speaking, if you are applying for the trademark application yourself directly with the USPTO, then you're looking at around the five to $600 mark. This includes, of course, the application fee, which is non-refundable. If you decide to go with a trademark attorney, then your costs can be anywhere between $1,200 to more than $5,000. How long does the process take? The amount of time it takes to get through the trademarking process um, can vary from case to case, but you will receive a receipt approximately six months after filing. This receipt will have a, a serial number that you can then use to track your application. While the average time for filing for a trademark to receive that trademark is around six to nine months, but it can be as short as a few months sometimes to sometimes it can be several years. Is registering a trademark a long and complicated process? Well, yes, as you can see, it definitely takes multiple steps and a little persistence to get through the trademarking process. But this expenditure of time and money is more than worth it. Registering a trademark ensures that your name will always belong to you or, or the logo belongs to you and that you will have ultimate control over how you use it and where. Because of the, of the complex nature of this process, I would recommend uh, engaging a trademark attorney to uh, go through this process 
of applying for a trademark all the way through getting your trademark certificate. I hope you found this episode useful. If you have any questions about this episode, please hit me up on Twitter. My handle is at Bunigala. Or leave comments below this video and I will surely respond. And please don't forget to subscribe to this channel so that when my next episode comes out, you will be alerted. Till my next video, take care.